Inventory. Each Phoenix Project soldier has an inventory used to carry weapons, ammo, equipment, and armor. Players can access soldier inventory both from the personnel management screen on the Geoscape and during tactical missions using the inventory interface. From the Geoscape, left-click on the Personnel tab at the bottom of the screen. Select the soldier whose inventory you wish to inspect from the list with left-click. Then left-click on the Equipment tab. You can also cycle between soldiers from the Equipment tab with the left and right arrows on either side of the soldier's name. The inventory is broken down into four distinct sections. Body. Six slots which represent storage space in the soldier's pack or tactical rig. This space is used for carrying spare weapons, ammo and equipment. Items collected from the battlefield during missions can also be placed in these slots for recovery after the battle is over. Ready. These three slots offer weapons or pieces of equipment which the soldier is currently holding or has within easy reach. Soldiers can freely switch between ready items on the battlefield without using any action points. Most weapons and equipment must be in one of the ready slots and actively equipped before they can be used during a mission. Conversely, players can load spare ammunition into a weapon via a special action, so ammunition doesn't need to be in a ready slot. Ready slot items also have a small button located to the right of them labeled plus ammo if the item is a weapon, or plus item if it's a grenade or other piece of equipment. Left-clicking on these buttons will place a spare magazine or duplicate piece of equipment into an open slot on the soldier's body. If no spare ammo magazine is available, one will be instantly and automatically manufactured, providing you have the resources and necessary technology. Armor slots. Three slots total, one each for a soldier's head, torso and leg armor. Remember that you cannot equip armor on body parts that have Pandoran mutations or cybernetic implants. Mounts. The final three slots are reserved for special weapons and equipment which need to be mounted directly onto special armor pieces. These include the Heavy's missile launcher or the Technician's exo arms, for example. Players can freely move inventory items among soldiers and among global Phoenix Project stores which they can access at the bottom portion of the screen. Class icons to the left of the store section allow you to sort items that are only usable by the current soldier's class, while tabs at the top allow you to filter between equipment, armor, and mounts. In addition to the limited amount of space a soldier has in their inventory, below a soldier's inventory is their encumbrance limit, which is based on their strength stat. Everything you pick up weighs something. Should the weight of a soldier's items exceed their encumbrance limit, they will suffer a movement penalty in tactical missions. The more weight over the limit, the greater the penalty. During tactical missions, you can access a soldier's inventory either by left-clicking on the pack icon in the bottom right of the screen, by pressing the letter I key, or by left-clicking on the soldier and then left-clicking on the inventory from the menu. The soldier will have access to the body and ready item slots, along with any items on the ground directly beneath the soldier's feet or in an adjacent tile. If your soldier doesn't have enough action points to move an item from the ground, a warning will appear below the appropriate slot in the interface. Moving items from one slot type to another will cost a total of one action point, regardless of the number of items moved. Any soldier can also drop items from their inventory to the ground for no cost. Remember that the action point cost for moving items is only applied when the inventory is closed, so feel free to play around inside the inventory until you're ready to finalize. On some missions, your team may come across supply crates and other containers. Simply move a soldier next to these containers and they will open automatically. Items within a container are the same as items on the ground, and the same costs for moving them to a soldier's inventory apply. Any subsequent soldier who approaches an already open crate can gain access to it from their inventory screen as normal.
It's also possible to see and access the inventory of any other Phoenix Project soldier you're standing adjacent to. You can move items between soldiers, with the currently selected soldier paying the action point cost, regardless if the items are being given or received. If there are multiple adjacent soldiers, you can cycle between them by left-clicking on their names to the right of the inventory.